Uh, we built our pollinator garden earlier this spring, planted it in with uh, plants that are known to be uh, host plants for specific groups of butterflies, including the monarch butterfly. And we were able to collect some monarch caterpillars earlier this uh, summer, a few weeks ago. And we set it up and we developed a chrysalis and we had it uh, go through metamorphosis today. And we have our first monarch butterfly here at Fort Worth Zoo that we're going to release into our uh, pollinator garden after we tag it. Okay, we got pictures? Yeah, here's the tag. Um, they're provided by, um, what is the group? Monarch Watch. Monarch From, Watch uh, provides the tags. University of Kansas. And they are tagged right on the ring of the animal. Okay, you got Set it down on the, right you know, on the Turk's cap. And you shoot it. got to readjust. <laughs> uh, the animal was set on a ho one of the host plants. These are some of the other host plants for not necessarily just monarchs, but for other species as well. Um, we set it on the Turk's cap, and the animal, which had just uh, come out of its chrysalis earlier today, its wings are still getting hard. They're very soft when they first come out, and they have to kind of fan them and uh, so that they dry out and become more rigid and so that it can support its body weight. So the animal, once it is uh, a little bit more sturdy, will fly away back on the migratory route of the monarchs.